burnout yeah. in church planting is huge, isn't it? Not just for 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 the leader, yeah. and 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 there's a whole another podcast on that, isn't it? But but protecting people because we're saying everyone has to chip in, everyone has to play a role. You know, you just look at the, you know, if you were to write a list, even just delivering a Sunday morning yeah. and you're in a, you know, you're in a venue that doesn't, you don't belong to, you've got all the setting up, all the ministry stuff to do, and then you've got the clear up. And then, yeah. so just think about that one day that you have to deliver. Yeah. All of this has got, you know, and this isn't just one week, this is every week. And you want to make an impact in the community. So you're doing more, yep. you're putting on more. There's loads of opportunities that suddenly come your way. Yeah. And suddenly then you're in a situation where you know you might have taken on too much or you know and understand if your capacity is it's hard to manage and learn in that initial bit but what burnout how do we stop that burnout give us some i think have you got any uh, look any thoughts on this it's something i have thought about you know for a long time yeah um i there have been times when i've been burnt out yeah and there have been times when i've been um overwhelmed with with mental stress Mm -hmm. and i would argue potentially depression on times because i enjoy doing stuff yeah and i enjoy leading stuff and i enjoy getting stuff done i i often make this the mistake of taking on too much yes so you touched on that and i think that's a that's a massive massive issue so um and, I, and again, I think a lot of it comes down to the physical issues and the mental issues. So you've got you to differentiate between the two, Gav. And mm-hmm. I, I think in society we don't do that. And in the church we really don't yeah. do this enough. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm going to say some stuff that um, might cause you know, people to go, oh, I'm not sure about that. But, mm-hmm. but bear with me. Yeah. Um, so I think that, that, that Christians can suffer mental anxiety, mental health issues, etc., uh, etc., et just because we're Christians, it is not um, a, a, a barrier to yes. us struggling yeah. with these things. Yeah. I, I think we should just be honest about yeah. that. We are human. Yes. So you ask me, how do you manage burnout? Realize you're just a human. Yes. Yeah. You've got limited energy, you've got limited time, and you've got limited resources. Yeah. And there's massive demand on yes, that there because is. if you're involved in church planting, yes, you're you've got this overwhelming passion and burden for the town yeah. or the village or the city where you are, yeah. the area where you are. So that's consuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never goes away. Yeah. And you've got you're, that clarity that God's called you to this yes, place, isn't exactly. it? So there's this sense of right, we've got to do this. Ex- yeah, exactly yeah. right. You you know what God has called you to do, so you're driven by yeah. that. Yeah. You then have the people that you brought with you, whether it's two or thirty. Yeah, they've got their issues. They've got. Yeah. They still need looking after. Yeah. So they might come all um, motivated and encouraged yeah. and stirred. Yeah. I'll guarantee you, within six months, there's going to be some yeah. big issues yeah. there. Yeah. So you're pastoring them. Yes. You're then seeing baby Christians coming into the yeah. church. And they're vomiting all over the place. <laughs> they you know, need we've, got, we've got a couple yeah. of, uh, you know, little granddaughters. We've got a new, you know, four-week-old granddaughter. And she's vomiting all over yeah. the place at the moment. Um, now, Lovely. she is gorgeous. Can I say for James and Katie, yeah. she's a delight. Yeah. Uh, Elsie Harper, we love her to bits. But, you know, she has her feeds and, and she's a bit <laughs> sick. And, and the same with the other, you know, granddaughters. Yeah. Um, so you've got these baby Christians and they're, and they're being ill. And yeah. they're creating problems and they're creating yeah. challenges. You're then involved in community projects. Yeah. And that's before we even get to preparation for the meeting, yeah. setting up, doing all the organizational stuff, and whether it's you or someone else, preparing to preach the word. Yeah. So massive, massive stressure, uh, pressure and stress. Recognize you can't do it all. Yeah. So write down the key things. Yeah. What are the three or four key things you've got to do this yes. week? And talk to the people around you. Have a couple of close people, whether yeah. they're, if you're the pastor in the church, uh, get, you know, and you've got a couple of elders uh, yeah. around you or a couple of deacons, talk to them about it. Yes. Be honest about yeah. it. Be honest about your own struggles. Yes. I, I think Christian pastors, um, leaders, <clears throat> the, the thing that we don't do enough is talk about our struggles. Yeah. We didn't. No, no let me rephrase that. <clears throat> We did to a degree. Yeah. We could have done it better. Yeah. 
Yeah. And yeah. I, I wish we had been more honest about our struggles. Yeah. So I would encourage people to, you know, it's, you, you, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of stuff about mental health around at the moment, and men's mental health particularly. And there's this hashtag, it's good to talk. Yeah. It really is, and it's good just to be honest with a yeah. few people. So how do you avoid burnout? First of all, you will get stressed. Yeah. Just live with that. You have got lots of pressure, live with that. You are limited in what you can do, live with that. But make sure that there's a few people around you who you open up and you say to them, I can only do yes. this thing, this thing, and this thing. Yeah. And when people tell you or whisper to mm -hmm. you that I'm doing mm -hmm. a rubbish job, mm -hmm. can you just tell them why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's having that protection yes. of good friends yeah, around it is. you. Yeah. So, I think your partner um, is absolutely fundamental mm -hmm. to this. Um, tell them when you're struggling. Yeah. Um, help them to understand. Norma have been on. Norma and I have been on this journey. Norma is one of you know Norma. She she it's works great. here in the church. She's she's one of the sweetest, loveliest, most sane people I know. And she's really consistent. Yeah. Norma doesn't have highs and lows. She's yeah. just consistent. Yes, yeah, she is. You know, it's true. Um, and and she just loves life and loves people and just gets on with stuff. I'm very much up and down. I'm like a roller coaster. Um, you know, I'll I'll have you know a few days when life is brilliant and everyone's Amazing. brilliant and let's have all these people around. Yeah. And I'll have other days where I go, I don't want to talk to anyone. <laughs> 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 and 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 you know, or you know, yeah. I'm I'm staying in bed this morning. You yeah. know, I don't care. Yeah. Um, and I've got to, I have to learn to manage that, and I have to challenge myself because yeah. that is my sin to a degree, yeah, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Um, but uh, you know, talk to your partner. So Norma yes. will you know come alongside and say, now this is that, isn't it? Yeah. That's the thing that we talked about. Yeah. Now come on, you know, preach the gospel to yes. yourself, remind yourself, yeah. and buck up your ideas. Sometimes I'll, you know, often I will respond, but sometimes I won't, and. Yeah. And you know, it's recognizing that you know sometimes it's hard, yeah. um, and it's okay to have a bit of a fug. Yeah. Sometimes you know it's bad. It's okay to have a bad day. It's okay yeah. to stay at home sometimes, yeah. and just not do anything when, yes. when you know we we shouldn't be afraid of that. But but let people know, yeah. Yeah. be honest about that. And yeah. and the other thing I would I would talk about, you know, burnout and and stress. Take time off. Yeah, absolutely right. Take a couple of days a week off. You know, the, you, the challenge for, for guys in, in church leadership is, you know, Sunday, the day that's most people's day off, yeah. they're working and yeah. they're working flipping hard. Yeah. And I know that you guys are here long before we rock up and you're here long after, <laughs> I, you know, I jump in my car and go and have my lunch. Um, so Sunday is maybe a half or two thirds of that is a working day. Yeah. Now, I know you're probably able to have lunch with friends or tea or, or whatever. You get with your family and whatever. But there has to be at least one other day yeah. that you um, just relax. You go and walk by the sea. Mm -hmm. You go and read a book. You go and play football. You yeah. go to the cinema. You take your wife out for a meal. You, yeah. you know, take the kids you know, to wherever. Yeah. Um, you've got to have to, you must do yeah, that. Yeah.